All right, let's get started. So if I, as I have mentioned before, I can get attached to certain logs. Um, and this is definitely a log that I've been visiting over and over again throughout the summer because it consistently has some pretty cool looking slime molds on it. So um, I am quite familiar with it as a substrate. And I'm still trying to figure out how to take videos with my camera. So if things go in and out of focus at bad times, I'm sorry. I very much encourage poking things when you're out in the woods. Unless you're into wildlife, then maybe don't poke them. Maybe don't poke this ant. Definitely don't poke this ant. So the ant and the slug and everything else in the rest of the video was all surrounding one log that I may or may not have spent like 15 minutes just kind of staring at and investigating. on down the log and I noticed this slime mold hanging out so I tried desperately to focus on it and while I was doing so I noticed a cute little mantis in a branch by the log so I shifted the camera over to try to get it and then I noticed another creature. This is a black and yellow garden spider just kind of hanging out and in my small amount of research that I did trying to figure out what it was, I saw that scientists don't really know why it makes that like zigzag pattern in the web but that is pretty normal for these spiders. And here's the mantis being adorable and hard to focus on. Last up, still on the same awesome decomposing log, is this little slime mold um, taking over, not really taking over, but very prolific slime mold sporulating. <laughs> <laughs> 